video games. Sometimes they do crazy things to us. Sometimes they bring you back to a happy or maybe a not so happy memory. Sometimes they become so important to you that they end up changing your life in ways that you wouldn't think are possible. This is Mirror's Edge Catalyst. Before we begin, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button as it helps the channel grow. Let's beat the algorithm. Imagine this, it's 2008 and you pick up a strange new game called Mirror's Edge from your local blockbuster. When you finally get home and turn on your console to play, you are greeted with a certain level of movement that has more freedom than nearly any game you played before it. This was my first introduction to parkour. I played the story over 20 times but could never remember it, even today. All I remember was how addicted I was jumping from rooftop to rooftop in first person. I felt like I was an action hero. Then the years passed and I forgot all about Mirror's Edge until Catalyst came out. When I heard this game was coming out, I jumped out of my seat. Eagerly awaiting the release, I watched the trailers more than I'd like to admit but nothing could have prepared me for when it came time to actually play. Parkour. My first time controlling Faith, the parkour felt more fluid. The combat, while simple, was satisfying. But what really stood out to me, making Catalyst my favorite game in the series, was the art direction of the City of Glass. There were reflections everywhere you looked, from windows to rooftops. It all had a futuristic feeling. And then, there was the minimalistic furniture placement and subtle spots of LED lighting. You can't forget about the random robots that would clean the windows as well. I mean, look at these little guys. This minimalistic, futuristic cityscape meant more to me than just a beautiful backdrop to a game about parkour. It opened my eyes to what I now consider my favorite architectural design style of all time. So much so, that my entire life literally changed because of Mirror's Edge Catalyst. With a new sense of appreciation for minimalism and futurism, and the attractiveness of the simplicity it brings, I went on to becoming a UX designer. I wanted to make a difference, even if it was just for the software UI that everybody uses. I never expected a video game to hold that much importance, but here we are. Do you remember the first time you played Catalyst and you could hear the beautiful tech sounds around you? Or when Faith was running on glass and her shoes squeaked? There was something about how the devs created the soundscape that was weirdly relaxing. But then we get to the interiors. Furniture was perfectly and sparsely placed, giving the impression of cleanliness. Everything was sterile with a splash of color to draw the eyes to a specific place. It was interesting in ways that seemed strange. Why would someone want their home to look like this? Well, personally, I don't know what it is about the sterile, cold interiors that feel so inviting to me. This might be an unpopular opinion, but I always design my own real interior spaces like this because nothing else compares in the best way possible. I have strange interests. It's the reason why I think the Cybertruck is honestly the most beautiful piece of machinery to come into existence. What I think we can all agree on is that there were a ton of visual variety between the districts of the city, ranging from industrial to luxury that kept exploration fun and unique. On top of this, the city felt massive despite the reality being shockingly small. I mean, Take a look at what you're actually able to run around in versus the entire city size. It's so small. They could have done so much more in this regard, but unfortunately, EA has always treated this series like secondhand underwear. Easily trashed. Before we wrap this video up, take a minute to enjoy the sights and sounds in the following clips.
in the comments section below. Let me know, am I the only one who loves futurism and minimalism, or do you guys share the same excitement? Did Mirror's Edge Catalyst change or influence your life as much as it did mine? I will end the video with this. I come back to this game every once in a while, and I can spend hours just wandering and imagining myself actually living here. I only wish another developer picked this game up, and with love and care for the series, gave us the next installment.